Yo guys, um, good day. I hope you guys are doing well this morning. Um, this morning I'll be comparing two um, giant apps, and um, today we'll be talking about cheaper cash and gig pay. All right, we'll be talking about cheaper cash and gig pay. Okay, how to? Uh, the, uh, we're talking about the features of the apps and which app is actually much more better. Okay, so talking about this, um. I'll have to log in the two apps and this is my cheaper cash loading up. Okay. So, um, even <laughs> uh, comparing apps, but even the, the time it takes them to load is actually also a comparison too. Okay. All right. So, um, nope. Uh, this is, uh, I'll have to go to gig pay. Uh, when I'm done with this, I'll actually be comparing, um, Cheaper cash and grid out cool. Okay. So uh enter password. What's my password? Okay. All right. It's going to it's going to shop. Now can you see the time it took cheaper cash to load to open up is lesser than the time it took. Okay, sorry. Yeah, it's lesser than the time it took a uh, gig pay to load, okay. So you can see that cheaper cash loads faster. That's the first comparison. Then, guys, I'm going to the next comparison. I will be going to the section of accounts, okay? And you can see that um, I have my USD account, all right? And I created my USD account free, okay? So now let's head to cheaper cash. In cheaper cash, uh, I'm trying to log in. In cheaper cash, if you want to create your USD account, uh, you have to pay amount of 5,000 Naira, okay? And plus, Cheaper Cash has not started issuing um, dollar accounts yet. So even if you have money, uh, it will just process and tell you some error, okay? Uh, I don't have money now, but if, if you have Cheaper Cash, you can actually testify to this. You process and they will still show you some errors okay they will not give you the usd account okay they will not give you the usd account so cheaper cash usd account is not active as the time of which i recorded this okay all right so that's uh, a plus for gig pay because on gig pay you can get an instant usd account then moving to the cards um, cheaper cash has the ng cards which i have not claimed okay but um uh, you can actually claim yours okay it's just one thousand naira all right um then they have the usd accounts too you could see my usd um uh, or my dollar card is a really busy one okay you could see a whole lot of payments here and there i pay for facebook ads i pay for instagram ads i pay for uh, subscriptions on and digital platforms too okay so um cheaper cash has a usd card let's check this out okay so um day two have a usd card okay day two have a usd card of which i don't need one okay i don't need one because i've already had one in cheaper cash and i can't just be gathering usd cards everywhere okay so that's a plus plus for both apps okay because both of them have the USD um, account, okay? Then I'm um, going to this. You could see on my screen, you could see the USD dollar, you could see the British pounds, you could see the Euro, and you could see the Nigerian Naira, okay? So, um, GeekPay will give you four different accounts which you can receive Naira, you could receive euro you could receive british pounds you could receive us dollars okay and all these accounts you can actually like um claim them barely within two minutes okay uh but going to cheaper cash right now uh shit. going to cheaper cash right now you could see that uh cheaper cash let's load up you could see that cheaper cash is more of like um it's more of like just the Nigerian era and the dollars, okay? And as of the time of recording this video, that's 21st December 2023, 
that USD account has not even started working, okay? So we said that based on receiving international payments, uh, GeekPay app is above cheaper cash, okay? So that's a plus plus for GeekPay. Then based on, um, I've, I've, I don't have a GeekPay dollar card, but I've used it from other people's app to actually make payments. Um, based on dollar cards, uh, yeah, the two apps have strong dollar cards, okay? But uh, based on the rate, the rate to actually um, buy dollar and fill it in the app, I'll say that cheaper cash rate is actually somehow lesser, okay? But this review doesn't make you trying to, like, use the two apps, all right? You could just get one of the apps, which is relatively good, and you are good to go, all right? So, um... Based on that, that's it. Then, um, based on transaction fees, uh, cheaper cash. Let me change it back to the naira. Um, cheaper cash actually char uh, charges zero naira for any um, withdrawal. Okay, cheaper cash charges zero naira for withdrawal and zero naira for deposit. Okay, while GigPay is not like that. GeekPay, GeekPay charges 0.9% of any money that will be deposited in the GeekPay, all right? And GeekPay also uh, charges 15 Naira for withdrawals, okay? You can see from here, this is a proof. I was withdrawing 100,000 Naira and they charged me 15 Naira for each 100,000 Naira I took out, okay? So that's GeekPay for you, all right? Then next, guys, you could see uh, GeekPay offer all these exchange rates where you could convert any um, and any currency to a British pounds, any currency to US, uh, US dollars, any currency to euros, okay? But you could see that... Um, you could see that... Uh, cheaper cash, cheaper cash don't offer exchange services, okay? So you can't actually comfortably send money that you earn from any outside job you have done to cheaper cash saying that, okay, you want to actually exchange it and get a higher rate, okay? While any job I do online, I actually send it back to my GeekPay because instead of exchanging at 900 Naira, I can exchange at 1,160 Naira per dollar, okay? So I earn higher using GeekPay. That's why I actually got GeekPay on me. Then talking about the customer care, both apps have customer care, all right? Um, cheaper Cash is, okay, sorry, Cheaper Cash is here. Uh, if you want to message our customer care, all right, chat with us. No, I want to chat to the person. And it's just like this, okay? Barely the same type of format, okay? Then I'm um, talking about GeekPay. Uh, GeekPay do have their customer care. Contact us, all right? You can actually do a live chat too. Now, doing a live chat, can you see this? Uh, 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 this, this, can you see the two? Can you see that they are exactly the same thing? So I'm even suspecting that it's maybe like the same group of company that owns cheaper cash and GPA. All right? Maybe they are just using our head or something. Because this is the same thing, all right? Now we are catch them with this. <laughs> now we are actually catch them with our. All right, so with that, guys, I think that's all. All right, I think that's all. That's all for the comparison. Uh, of course, um, cheaper cash don't have the convert button yet where you could convert different currencies to different currencies. GeekPay does have it. All right, then lastly, guys, you could see the GeekPay homepage. There's no option to actually pay bills like buy airtime, buy data, um, buy all those TV subscription, um, buy uh, anything, okay? But you could see that in the cheaper cash, going into my cheaper cash, yeah, my cheaper cash uh, code is 2525, but you can't hack it now. I want to hack my cheaper cash when you only know my... So I'm not really scared putting out my details online because uh, I want to hack my details. If I know hack your papa, but, Jesus Christ. So, uh, uh, coming here now, you can see that in cheaper cash, you can buy airtime. Uh, in cheaper cash, you can buy data. 
in cheaper cash, you can pay bills. All right. So this is henceforth making the cheaper cash app more of like a home app. Okay. That even your children could actually use. All right. While the geek pay app is more of like, okay, a serious app where you are only like trying to like exchange money, get a higher rate and stuff like that. You feel me? All right. So it makes cheaper cash more of a bank. All right. Then uh, in cheaper cash, you have the invest or button. OK, so you can actually invest and make much more money from other apps, from other companies. All right. You can invest in other companies and make much more money. All right. Invest in and, and you see that in the gig pay, bro, there's no investing. You only buy exchanging your money and getting a higher rate. That one, the Sabi doing well. OK. So that's it, guys, for this lecture. Uh, comparing them, comparing um, GeekPay and Cheaper Cash, right? So see you guys next year and bye.